welcome to Disney World day one, the Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Party vlog. Merry Christmas! If you're new around here, hi, I'm Mackenzie. This is my sister, Madison. We are on a Disney World trip to celebrate her birthday and to celebrate Christmas. And what a better night to celebrate Christmas than at the Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Party. So if you haven't already, watch our travel day vlog because we checked into the beautiful Pop Century Resort. We have a Skyliner view out of our window and we did a full room tour there. So I'm gonna link that up above. But tonight's gonna be a whole lot of fun. I cannot wait. We've been to the Christmas party before, but it's been like, what, three, four years? If, if that. If Maybe more. It was definitely pre-COVID trip. So it's 3.25 now. We can get into the Magic Kingdom starting at 4 p.m. And the party officially starts at 7. So I think we're going to try to get there at 4. We can do rides and stuff while we're there. That way we get a little Magic Kingdom time in because it's our only Magic Kingdom day. So we got to maximize. <laughs> okay, so come along for a Christmas party vlog. <laughs> <laughs> oh, ears down. Ears down, ears down. Let's talk about weather for the Christmas party. It is extremely sunny, not a cloud in the sky. Feels amazing. Yeah. A little bit warm in the sun, like in the sense that maybe these long sleeves while it's sunny are gonna be, we're gonna be struggling, but I think it'll cool off once the like, the sky goes down, the sun goes down. What am I saying? The sky goes down? When did it get to the Christmas party? I'm just too excited, I can't even speak. So we're heading to the front of the Pop Century Resort now to get on the Magic Kingdom bus to head to the Christmas party. Let's go. Okay, so we are not going directly in. We are waiting in this massive line. I don't know if you can see, but it goes all the way back there and wraps all the way back down. I think since we're getting here at 4 p.m., that's why the line's so long, because we all have to get our bracelets, we all have to get in the park. So if you're getting here at four, just be prepared for a little bit of a line. We've only been in it like five minutes, so hopefully it doesn't take too long. And then we can get in and get our pictures in the Magic Kingdom. Yep. All right, we got our bracelets. They're so cute. She said, don't pull them tighter because you cannot loosen them. So right. remember that. But look at this. Oh my gosh, look how pretty it is with the hundred and all of the Christmas decorations at golden hour almost. It is so beautiful. I wish you guys could be here to like see this in person because with the music, the smells, the sounds, it's amazing. Okay, the very Merry Christmas party. It says we're heading this way. Madison, how do you feel? I'm excited. I'm excited. Ready for cookies. Ready for free cookies. Here we go. Very Merry Christmas oh God, party. It's already snowy, guys. We already have show. <laughs> We've got our first goodie. It is a free ornament that says Very Merry Christmas Party 2023. Okay, so we made it through the Very Merry Christmas Party entrance for guests. So much snow. It, 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 it's, it was chaos, it like was, in the best way possible. It was Christmas. It was very it Christmas. Was Christmas. So then I looked at Madison and I said, should we go get a Starbucks? And she was like, yeah. Yeah, so absolutely. that's how we're starting our Christmas party. Also, let's look at the castle because I haven't shown you guys that yet and it looks beautiful. Cheers! We got our Starbucks. We're heading up to the castle to take some pictures and then we'll map out kind of our plan for what we want to do. But we're feeling good. We got our energy for the night. We're going to be here all night. We are right in front of the castle. This is the best spot to take photos. Look how empty it is. Madison and I just got a bunch of really good ones and it looks so good. Oh my gosh. I cannot get over that we're actually here for Christmas. Like we're about to spend the Christmas party here. Like what? Madison. It's magical. I, it's magical. We have decided first ride of the trip is gonna be People Mover. Madison and I literally said it at the exact same time with the first ride should be. So we're heading there now. No matter how long the wait is, we're going. It's usually pretty short, like 15 minutes max. And plus we'll get to see like all of Tomorrowland with the party. I cannot wait. We are on the escalator headed up to the People Mover. It was like a 10 minute wait. Yeah. Remember that the party doesn't start until seven. So those like lower crowds and stuff that you see at the party are not happening just yet because regular guests are still here. So we're just gonna take it at ease enjoying all the sights, having a good time. Yeah. Are you excited? Yeah. People moving. People moving. Your express train keeps on rolling through the future. Right by two of my favorite spots. Plus for a bit of light, speedy competition. The People Mover is like the most beautiful ride. Like I just have seen it. It's, it's so scenic. Station. All of Tomorrowland you get to see and the beautiful forms. castle. Alright, there is a parade coming so I have to be quick. We got off People Mover and came to Main Street to browse. The sun has set towards the perfect amount of like light and Christmas lights. They turned on the lights on Main Street. I cannot wait to show you guys them. It's our Christmas video of Main Street USA. It's very 
early Christmas here at Magic Kingdom. It feels like really magical tonight. I don't know what it is. The temperature is good. We're not sweating too yeah. bad. Yeah. 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 If we start trying to run places, we will. But we are heading over to like Adventureland, Fantasyland area, just to hop on some of the like more lower popular attractions right now. Like It's a Small World, maybe even Pirates, because I think it's only a 20 minute wait. That way we can knock out the bigger attractions during the party. That's our strategy. All right, it's a little bit later now. We did it to Small World. We just kind of walked around, enjoyed the Christmas decorations. It is officially 6.05 p.m., which means it is Christmas party time. So we've been looking at our maps and stuff. We're kind of planning out what we want to do. We're big like ride people and like free cookie people. Yeah. Um, we don't normally do characters just because we just don't gravitate towards that, but there are tons of characters to meet. So we're getting really excited for the party. I can't believe it's time. What do you want to do first? Uh, I, I need something to eat. Let's grab a snack. Let, let's get a snack. Let's okay, snack. we're gonna find a snack at the Christmas party. It is very, very Christmas party time. Also, forgot to mention that we did get a Tron individual lighting lane. When you have a Christmas party, it opens at 6 p.m., the virtual queue, and we got group 155. So, we are riding Tron tonight, and with all the Christmas lights and everything, I cannot wait. I think it's gonna be an even better experience than before. All right, there might not be anything better than this. Popcorn fresh from Disney, Diet Coke, and the views of Tomorrowland. It is gonna be a great night. We are just sitting here. I'm gonna eat some of my popcorn. I think we're gonna hop on Buzz, and then hopefully it'll be time for our Tron virtual queue. I cannot wait to get on Tron. <laughs> so far, so good. Like the crowds have definitely lessened since six o'clock hit. They're checking everybody's wristbands, making sure you're here for the party, and like and everyone else out. Yeah, it's very it's empty. Cool. So I'm feeling really excited. I think after like we get on Tron and stuff, the rides will be a lot lower so we can get on like Pirates, Big Thunder. Oh my gosh, you're gonna see so many ride montages. Yeah. Madison and I are about to go to battle. The wait time was posted like, what, 35 minutes? And yeah. we waited like 10. So yeah. you'll see that a lot at the Christmas party. The wait times are posted higher than what they actually are. So don't get too discouraged. There's no lightning lane, so it goes really quick. So let's go Conquer Buzz. Here's the game so far. Madison is winning, but I'm not doing too bad. This yeah, is the best I normally do. Comment down below if you know where to shoot in this room because I have no earthly clue. The final results are in. I have 399 and Madison got 738. So she definitely beat me. But yes. hey, Toy Story Sunday. Yes. We get way too competitive. Free treats are indicated by the candy cane blow up. So we are at the launching pad. They have apple cider and gingerbread cookies. So we're gonna get that. Ah. Just for reference, it's 648 in our boarding group where Tron got called and we're group 155. So it went really quick, like 45 yeah. minutes. So we'll probably like enjoy the snack and then head over there. But so far, party's going good. Our first retreat. Oh, yeah. really? Woo! How's the apple cider? I haven't tried it yet. Is it cold or hot? Oh. Okay, but we also got these um, gingerbread cookies that look really good. I like that they're individually packaged so I can save them for later when I need a little treat. Heading into another little snack location, we are at Cosmic Rays. We're just gonna see what they have because we want one more snack before we head on Tron. So let's go see what they got in here. Honestly, Cosmic Rays is where it's at. It's got hot chocolate and chocolate chip cookies. This is the perfect little treat to walk to Tron. You ready to go ride Tron? Oh, heck yeah. Oh yeah, let's go. There is quite nothing like Tron, like at night. Just walking up here, it looks so good. I know it took 10 million years to be finished, but I'm so happy it's here. It fits so nicely in Tomorrowland. Madison's getting all the photos yeah, of it. Finished. She's so funny. Okay, we're gonna take some pictures and then head in to our virtual queue. I'm so excited. Yeah. We are getting to the lockers now to put our stuff in. I'm gonna bring my phone with us so I can show you guys some of the ride, but we're putting this away for now. You gotta put it in the locker. So here we go, on to try. Bye. We give it 10 out of 10. For sure. Always. We love Tron so much. I think it needed to be in Magic Kingdom because Magic Kingdom needed that addition. Yeah, it needed an extra promo. But it's so good. So now we keep walking past Tomorrowland Speedway and they're playing like Trans Siberian Orchestra music with like flashing red and green lights. That's the Christmas energy we're looking for. So we are going to ride it. I'm letting this one drive. Wish me luck because she cannot drive in real life. Yes, I can. I'm an excellent driver. I'm an excellent driver, thank you. So we will see how it goes. I'm really excited about this. This Christmas overlay might be the most underrated ride here. This is already not off to a good start because Madison fell getting it. 
to the vehicle. I'm ready. I can see. Yeah. I can see over. The characters, Tweedledee and Tweedledon, are just out meeting right here in front of the teacups, which is so cute. So really rare characters that you get to see at the party. And then over here is Alice and the rabbit. So we have so you many got characters. The, you got the whole tea party here. The whole tea party. So we're gonna head and do all of our rides now. I'm so excited. After doing Tron, I have like this adrenaline rush. I'm ready to get on some more rides. So let's do it. It's like 9, 10 now, so we want to hit this and then go get our spot for the fireworks. So that's our plan. We really wanted to do Space Mountain because of the overlay. This vlog has probably been so chaotic because we are the type of people who just bounce around aimlessly, aimlessly and kind of do whatever we want, but it's been so much fun. Our energy is like very high and I just know we're gonna crash soon. It's on the way to space, but take a moment to look at that castle. The little snowflakes are so pretty. Madison's like racing ahead, but I am getting distracted by this beauty. Okay, we ended up giving up on Space Mountain. The line was just too long, and we really want to prioritize getting a good spot for the fireworks and the parade, just because that's what's important to us about the party. So we're heading to Main Street to find a spot for the parade. We're also going to use the same spot for the fireworks and the parade, just because it's easier. The fireworks are at 10, parade's at 11, so you have like probably 30 minutes in between of nothing, but it's worth it. Also, look at that bad boy with the snowflakes. Yeah. Beautiful. It is beautiful. beautiful. We've been singing a lot today. I don't know why. I don't either. But we are headed to Main Street to find our spot, so we'll show you guys that when we get it. And then I think I'm gonna go get some corn dog nuggets for us to snack on while we wait. Like, that's a perfect day. Yeah, that sounds great. Yeah, I'm so excited. All right, we have our parade spot. I went to Casey's and got us some corn dog nuggets and a Coke Zero because we needed the energy. But this is our parade spot. We're sitting next to a trash can. That's my biggest tip. That way, no one's next to you. The castle's there, the parade will come right through here. We got here at like 9.30, it's 9.45 now, and the fireworks start at 10, parade's at 11. So we'll probably get another snack after the fireworks. We have some friends coming to be with us for the fireworks and the parade. So one of them can save our spot, or like Madison can go. So we're definitely gonna do that. The vibe here is just like immaculate. Like even just sitting here, it feels so good. The weather's cooled off, we're gonna have the fake snow. I'm so excited. I gotta eat one of these Casey's nuggets. So good. Casey's Corner, corner of Main Street. You gotta try it. We did. And now we we're, we're going to watch the Christmas parade together. 
we're like in everyone's way. Okay, but we're gonna watch the Christmas parade from the same spot. We're taking pictures now. It is like heavy, heavy, heavy snowing right yeah. now. Like the snow is snowing, and it's not edible. It's not no. edible. It's actual soap. Okay, don't eat it. Don't eat it. <laughs> it's everywhere. <laughs> Wanted to talk about the fireworks. It was a very abrupt start. Like lights went out and then the fireworks just started. I thought there would be like an announcement. Of some sort. Yeah, I was convinced for like the first two minutes that it wasn't the fireworks. Yeah, Katie but it was like, was. it's a stage show. It's a stage show, and I'm like, no, I think this is well, it. I also thought the fireworks were at 10:15, and they were absolutely at 10. But it's so. okay. We didn't say anything. We were just like, oh no, I think we're just starting early. But I really liked them. I thought they were really good. They had a lot of like the classic songs in there. Some pretty interesting like looking fireworks too. Nothing beats happily ever after, I don't think. So anyway, we're gonna sit and watch the parade now. We'll put in some clips of that. But this very, very Christmas party is going so good. Madison also has a million cookies in her bag. <laughs> She's like hoarding them over here. I'm the cookie monster. Madison is the holder of the ball. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Woo! Madison interactive. Oh! Oh! show before the parade. It's so fun. All right, it's parade time. It's Christmas time. Woo! The park closes at midnight for the party, so we are heading to Seven Dwarfs to ride that. We were gonna do Space Mountain, but it is down, unfortunately. Yeah. So I'm thinking we're gonna do Seven Dwarfs if we can get on, and maybe the teacups. I mean, I'm looking at them right now. There's a Christmas overlay. It looks kind of fun if we don't spin around. <laughs> maybe. Very fun. All right, so let's see what we can get on before the park closes. The buses are gonna be so crowded right now because most people left after that parade, so. Hopefully we can kind of wake people out and get on some rides too. I mean, that yeah. would be ideal. Okay, so we never meet characters, but Tweedledee and Tweedledun are here and there's no wait. We always call Madison and Dad Tweedledee and Tweedledun, so we're gonna get a picture and send it to them. It'll be funny. Getting my twin. You were just laughing at it a second ago. I know, I <laughs> so we're excited. That meet and greet was actually really fun. They like took their scarves and put them around Maddie and I. It was really cute. I'll insert the pictures here. But now we're making our way towards yeah. Seven Doors. It is 11.50, so we have 10 minutes to get in line. It looks like there's a little bit of a wait, but I mean, it'll be worth it because we'll get out. The last one's on the ride, that's fine. That's fine, hey, that's a new thing for us, so we might try it, so let's go. All right, it is like 12.10 now, and we are getting on Seven Doors Mind Train. It's gonna be our last ride of the day at the Magic Kingdom. But we got a lot done. We'll recap everything when we get back to the hotel, but we're about to hit Seven Doors. Okay. <laughs> Seven Dwarfs experience, you guys saw magical. We got the fireworks magical. as we were coming down on the slow part, like it was perfect. I guess it was like the stage show ending, but it was perfect timing. Best way to end the Magic Kingdom very, very Christmas party. We are saying goodbye to the castle and to Main Street, but we are heading back to Pop Century. We're gonna recap our night with you guys just so we can kind of walk through everything we did in case we didn't get it on the vlog, but we're heading there now. Hopefully some of the bus lines have cleared out, yeah. but all in all, very Merry Christmas party. Merry Christmas. We'll talk about it more in a sec.
Okay, so we are back from the Christmas party. I'm whispering because it's 1 a.m. But I just wanted to recap kind of how the party went for us. I thought it was amazing. So did Madison. She's already passed out. But we had so much fun. We got so much done. I think the crowd levels were really lower than I expected. We did go to the party on the first Friday of December. And I thought it was going to be really, really crowded. However, it was perfect. I feel like we were able to get everything we wanted to done. So just to kind of recap, we were able to do Buzz, Tron, Big Thunder, Pirates, Seven Dwarfs, as far as ride goes during the party time. And then we also were able to hit like four or five different like treat spots. We got free cookies, free hot chocolate, free cider. Then we were able to meet Tweedledee and Tweedledun. And we could have met other characters at the end of the party. Like when we were meeting them, the line for like Winnie the Pooh and stuff was no weight at all. For Alice, it was no weight at all. We just picked them because we have like an inside joke with our parents, but we were able to do that. We were able to do the parade and the fireworks and have a really good spot. So overall, we did everything we wanted to accomplish and I definitely think it was worth it. That was our only day going to Magic Kingdom and we were able to check off everything we would wanna do on our list. So very happy we decided to do that and we did it all from 4 p.m. to midnight. So anyway, we are very tired now. I'm in my Santa PJs, obviously, cause we are ready for bed, but we are hitting Epcot tomorrow. So be sure to like this video and subscribe down below so you don't miss the next one. Thank you guys again for coming along with us and celebrating at the Very Merry Christmas Party. We can't wait to see you real soon. Bye!